In this video, what I wanted to talk about was it's an overview of my old propane forge. Yeah, on my channel, I also have a coffee can forge that I made, a little tiny guy, um, just to heat up small amounts of metal. It's made out of a lining that's just a, a refractory material out of just plaster of Paris and sand. It works okay. I just made it so that it would be really quick and didn't consume a lot of fuel if I needed to heat up some metal. This guy here I've had for, I think it's a bit about 12 years. I made this 12 years ago, maybe even longer than that. And it's all it is, is it's a steel pipe that I got at the salvage yard. This is stainless steel pipe, actually, so it's pretty strong. It was hard to cut, I remember. I welded on some feet. I have a, a brick on the bottom, a fire brick on the bottom for the floor, and it's lined with K-wool, uh, a mineral wool that you can use for lining kilns. Um, and people use it to build forges and the front door is made out of a frying pan and then I had a latch to keep it closed but unfortunately over the the test of time the handle actually fell off um, and then it's just one hinge over here so it's starting to sag a bit I could repurpose this I could reline the inside of it but I found this a little too big for my purposes it's a little unwielding um, as you can see, the door is still held, holding up really nice. The lining is still pretty good on the inside. But uh, I want to make one that's a little smaller. I don't need one quite this big. Originally, I was planning on doing some forge welding. I wanted a larger chamber. I uh, just never got around to it. So I'm going to make one a bit smaller, not as heavy, easier, a little more portable. So I got this guy over here, which is an air pig, an air tank, and... All I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole out of it and I'm going to line it with two inches of wool, of the mineral wool, K wool. And I'm going to have a brick on the bottom, obviously. I'm going to cut a hole in the side so that way the burners can fit again off to the side, maybe on an angle to get a bit of a swirl effect. I'm going to put an exhaust on the back. And that's what I have on this guy here. You can see in here. There's an exhaust all the way to the back that's smaller than the front opening. And then I had this door, like I said, um, which restricted the opening. But what made this door so nice, it was easy to light the burner. When it was in there, I could open the door and light it with a barbecue lighter. But I found it wasn't really necessary. I was able to light it with just this small opening here too. So I just wanted to uh, go over this and I'm going to do an upgrade. The top, I should mention what's... On the top, if I can just take the camera without shaking it too much, is this is a piece of exhaust pipe that I welded in on the top, and I put some bolts. I welded on some uh, nuts so I could tighten the bolts here to hold the burner on in like that. So that's kind of what I was, why those bolts are there. So it worked really well. Uh, I have a lot of cycles, quite a few hours on this burner, on this burner and forge. So it held up really well. I don't know how many hours, but I just know a lot. And uh, so the only reason why I'm really replacing is I just want something smaller, a little more, uh, a little more customized. And that's what uh, what I'm going to do. There's be some videos in the coming weeks, hopefully, if not months, on this build on this air pig becoming a propane forge. I also should mention that on my channel I do have a propane forge burner build. I built this guy here versus this Ron Real style. If, you, if you're doing any research on forges, you're probably going to come across this burner design right here. And while this burner design works awesome, the only thing that's missing on the top is the restrictor plate for the choke. Um, I just wanted to build something a little different, and I built this just experimenting, and I, I really like this design. I can choke the air off like this, um, and I was able to build the whole thing from just, you know, plumbing parts at the uh, hardware store. So, keep an eye out for some videos coming soon on this guy here.